without fail. Whenever I get a pump, she wakes up. So if you don't know, we are exclusively pumping. That's been working for us and I might do a whole video on it. I've got crazy hair. Um, I, this is straight out of bed. I'm being real in this video because it's messy. She's three weeks old and as of yesterday and things are a mess. So yeah, without fail, every time that I get a pump, she seems to wake up. So it is like, well, it's after six right now, but usually I'd like to get up at six and pump by then. But today I actually am going to go back to sleep. Um, I hope maybe because, um, Hunter can sleep in today. He has a doctor's appointment at 1030. So I'm hoping to get like my first nap just like right now. Um, so we will see how this goes. So we don't, basically we don't have to take him in to daycare um, until after his doctor's appointment. So. And unfortunately I have to take Addison with me because my husband has a dentist appointment at the exact same time. So we don't like taking her places but I don't have a choice with this one. I'll talk to you in a bit. That thirst from breastfeeding or pumping. It's insane. That's why we never have water bottles like this, but I've been having them on hand just in case so I can actually just grab them and not call my husband. I this is the definition of having a newborn. I just changed Abbas' diaper and now I hear her go into town with lots of wet farts that's how it goes with newborns for sure oh, yeah. hey guys i interrupt this video to apologize for the quality in some of these clips um and the sound of some of these clips too um not that my um video quality is like <laughs> the greatest to begin with but um yeah, I had to say something. So there was actually a clip that's supposed to go right here where I could not understand it. Something was definitely wrong with the audio. So I just had to take that out. I kept contemplating um, scrapping this whole video because um, the lighting in some of these was so bad that it just made the video quality so grainy. Um, you know, half the time I'm just sitting on my bed pumping in this video so <laughs> or feeding the baby. So the lights weren't really that great. Um, so... But I, I was going to scrap it, but I decided this video, I did like it. I liked how real it is um, because it's not the easiest day. It was, I was pretty rough this whole day. So I really wanted to put it out there and show you guys what a realistic day in the life with a newborn is. So I decided to keep going and just apologize for it. Um, sorry if you hear some baby noises. Addison's waking up. Um, so yeah, what I said in this clip that I'm taking out is basically just that I did not get a nap. As I said, I wanted to go back to sleep, but that did not happen. Um, I got a little distracted myself and then, uh, like on my phone and stuff. And then people were waking up and needing me. So I did not sleep, of course. But then I also wanted to let you guys know that I had mastitis. I talked a bit about that in this clip, um, which is a breast infection if you guys aren't familiar with it. And it's super painful. It feels like you get got hit by a bus and I had gotten an antibiotic for it for, and was on it for about a week and it wasn't working at the time when I'm filming this video. So um, throughout the day, you'll see that I'm getting worse and worse. And by the end of the day, I am just plain miserable. So look forward to that. Um, I am better now, of course, because I got put on a new antibiotic and that one worked for me. So uh, but yeah, so I did want to apologize for the quality and just um, let you guys know what you missed in that clip that is just totally unusable. So back to the video. All right, Addie, what do you want to wear? All right, so this is a Lulu and Company separates. We really like these. I'll go with that. Let's be fancy for a little bit. Let's give you a bow. Is that what you want to wear, girlfriend? Is that what you want to wear, sissy? Sissy? She's like, I don't care. I'm just getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. I have been horrible, like absolutely horrible, about eating good, healthy meals, which is super important, especially now that I'm um, pumping. But I, it's just like, who has time? So this morning, I made it a point to have a good breakfast, and I was also making hundreds too at the same time. Only time. Um, like 
pink matching set from Pink Blush that my kids make fun of me for. They say it's my pajamas. I don't care. I'm comfortable. If you're wondering how well, how well we have our shit together in this house, we forgot our son's nap mat at home yesterday. So, yeah. And apparently we were supposed to be in trash um, because I'm learning about recycling this week. So, this is when I'm bringing to school. A day late on the nap mat. <laughs> And just like that, it's time to pump again, and she is screaming her head off if I put her down. <sighs> we gotta get ready to go in any minute. I love it. You all ready to go to school? Not yet. Not yet. All right, well, I'm gonna pack my bag and we're gonna go, okay? All right, so in my skip pack, backpack, we've got a bottle, just in case, um, extra pacifiers, a blanket, change of clothes, a water for me, hand sanitizer, my masks up here, diapers and wipes. I just need to put my phone and wallet in here and we're ready to go. All right, huh? come with me. Come on. Yeah. Oh, look for cars. school uh Addison's just now starting to wake up I was just sitting in the car for a few minutes because she was quiet <sighs> and guess what time it is yep you guessed it it's time to go pump again but I think I have to feed her first this is the cycle on repeat <laughs> all right it's a little later I am milked and Addison is all fed she lost her shirt because her Got all wet. Um, we are about to go up and take a nap. Um, she's definitely ready for one. Look at how she's holding her passy so tight. Oh. So cute. <laughs> Just figure out how to keep it in, huh? Just hold on to it tight. Anyways, I know I have tons that I need to do, but I think that Every night's rough. Um, so I'm gonna go rest after that. Obviously I have cleaning I need to do, but I do have some like admin type things <laughs> that I need to do, um, like on the computer and stuff. I need to pay my son's preschool. Um, tomorrow I'm getting my COVID vaccine, woohoo. Um, my first shot and I'm eligible, I guess everyone's eligible now, but I'm getting mine through the military, through the Air Force, so there's a form they need me to fill out. So I need to make sure I have that ready to go by tomorrow morning. Um, I need to, there's a couple things I wanna fix with some Fidelity um, accounts, my retirement and kids' college funds. So I hope I can get to that. I need to sign little David up for a couple of camps for the summer and more thing. What is it? Oh, I need to find myself an eye doctor because I'm going to run out of contacts and I don't have an eye doctor in our new area since we've moved. Um, so we'll see if I can get all those things done or what I get done out of those. Um, but first, nap. That takes priority. Quite a bit later now I seriously feel horrible this breast infection I thought I was at the end of it and I'm really not I'm like so achy I'm so sick of being in pain it's really frustrating and it really gets you like down on continuing to um, breastfeed or pump to breast you know you get what I'm saying um, so 
I got some of the stuff done that I needed to. I could not figure out stuff with my Fidelity account and with my eye doctor. Like, I'm having so much trouble. I'm getting irritated. Um, and it's like almost five now, so I'm done for the day with that. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, but I got camps figured out. I paid our daycare or preschool bill. And I got my COVID forms filled out. So I'm going to count that as a win. Also, because I feel so sick, I didn't prep dinner. But we have a lot of leftovers. Um... My mother-in-law had made lasagna that we had froze, um, and we still have leftovers from that. The other day we ate it. I still have one enchilada leftover um, from a freezer meal, and then probably other stuff that if my kids don't want that stuff, they can find something else. So that's what we're going to have to do tonight because real life, it gets hard to cook when you have a newborn. Um, I've been loving these freezer meals and meals from neighbors and family, but... Um, I was like, oh, let me cook. I'm really excited to you know, cook once or twice and then when it comes to it, I'm like, I can't do it tonight. So, just real life. That's what I decided this vlog would be about. Real life uh, postpartum. So, that's what we're gonna do for dinner and I am done with other stuff for the day. If I get any cleaning done, I get cleaning done. But, we'll probably at least need to like clean up from dinner and stuff, like the kitchen and stuff. I feel like this is a depressing vlog. A depressing vlog. Sorry, I mumble a lot. Alright, that's it. So something I have to do every day, sometimes multiple times a day, is sterilize my pump parts and bottles. Um, and pumping mamas will understand. Um, so I had so many, so what I did tonight was I just ran it in my dishwasher and made sure to use the sanitized mode. And that works perfectly fine, so that's what I did tonight. Alright, so we did the dishes and picked up a bit down here on the, the main floor. That's all I got in me, but I do have to make lunches before I go to bed, so, so that I'm not like super mad at myself in the morning. So let's do that. So my fever is currently 102 and I was shivering, like shaking so hard. And now I feel like my fever is breaking because I'm sweating my ass off. So yeah, this has been a successful day. Um, whatever, I'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to end the vlog here and hopefully my life will be more together in the next one. Um, but this is just real life at the moment. So, all right, I'll talk to you later.